Hey, so are you new at guitar or maybe you've been playing for a while and you're wanting to start improvising over chord progressions? Maybe somebody says you're at a blues jam or you're playing with friends, they say, okay, now it's your turn to solo. How do you do that? I'm gonna show you guys how to do that step by step. We're gonna use a really cool slow blues jam. I'm gonna show you how to target the correct notes, how and when to play those notes, and some cool ideas you guys will learn along the way. I promise this is gonna be great. For a beginner guitar player or an intermediate guitar player, everybody's going to get something out of it. Stay tuned, let's take a look at the fretboard, here we go. Okay, so to improvise, how do we do this? Uh, so we're going to play this over the key of A, real easy. So we've got the A chord, just one chord. And then we've got a D. And then we've got an E. Easy 12 bar blues. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the very easy pentatonic a minor pentatonic scale we all know if you don't know it super easy to play it goes like this we're also going to play up here in the second position a couple of times it goes like this we're just going to show you those first two positions uh, to not make it too complicated. So here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to target the correct notes each time. So when we're when the A chord is passing by, we want to play the A note. So what we've got to do is figure out where the A notes are at. So the first one is going to be right here on the fifth fret. And then we've got an A note right here. This is on the fourth string on the D string. We've got an A note right here. We also have an A note here. Those are the ones that we're going to be focusing on the most. Uh, so on the four chord, which is D, of course we've got a D note here. We've got a D note here. We've got a D note here. And then the last chord is going to be the E chord. So of course we've got an E note here, E note here, E note here, and then an E note right here. So it's super, super important that you guys know where these notes are. That's how the pros and blues, that's how they're able to play and make it sound great because they're targeting the correct notes each time the chord passes. Okay, so I know several of you are probably saying this is a lot to digest right off the bat. I promise if you follow these easy steps, it's not going to be any time and you guys will start figuring out how to do this. It just takes patience and it takes practice. If you guys do this every day, or at least once or twice a week, you guys will get the hang of it. Listen to the chord changes as they come by and then target that note when it hits and then it's gonna sound great, I promise. So for example, let's say we're playing here on the A chord. So we're gonna slide into this, the A note, or we're gonna slide into here. Or slide into this one. Or even up here. So we go to the, the D, same thing, we're going to slide into that. Uh, the A, or I'm sorry, the E, slide into that. You can also bend up to the E because it's right here from the D, so we can go. and then resolve it, something like that. So that is how we're going to play this. So we're going to play the uh, a backing track that I've got. I'm going to talk through it as we go that will help you guys understand kind of the concepts I'm talking about. And then we'll also go up to the second position here too. Um, just a, a recap, if you guys aren't familiar with the positions, just play this first one. Uh, you can get a lot of mileage out of it. You can play some cool bends. You can slide in. A lot of cool options. All right, so here we go. Let's play this backing track. Okay, so here we go. This is over a easy slow blues, like I said. 
It's a quick change blues, which means that the first beginning part is the one and the four go back and forth. I'm going to link it down in this description below for you so you guys can play along with it and take these concepts. All right, so let's start this up, but I'll walk you guys through what I'm talking about. Here we go. So we're going to slide in to the A, to the D, and then back to the one. And then we can do some hammer-ons. And then slide back into the D. And then go back to the A. Now we're going to bend up to the E note. Back to the D. That's the E right now up to the second position. The A. D. A. The D. up to the E, back to the D, resolve to the A. Alright, that's it for this time. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Remember to take your time, have fun with it. Blues is all about being melodic and using emotion when you're playing. You're just playing the right notes at the right time to sound great. Uh, in the meantime, check out any other videos I've done here on the blues. We'll help you guys a lot. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed to the channel, I really would appreciate that. Have a great day. We'll see you guys next time.